Now let's shift focus over to North Korea where nothing seems to deter the North from launching projectiles. The country has done it again. That two hours after Washington and Pyongyang announced that they would resume denuclearization talks later this week, North Korea fired two missiles in the sea in the early hours of Wednesday. South Korean authorities have told local media that the North may have launched a ballistic missile from a submarine. They detected that one of the missiles flew 450 kilometers and reached an altitude of 910 kilometers. The missile was launched near the port of Wonsan towards the sea to the east. And according to Tokyo, one of the projectiles breached Japan's exclusive economic zone by entering its waters. No reports of any damage to airplanes or ships have emerged as yet. But Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has condemned the latest launches. Abe said he will call for a meeting of the National Security Council to decide how to respond to the firing. This is the ninth launch since US President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un met at the demilitarized zone in June this year. Yesterday, North Korean Vice Foreign Minister confirmed that talks with US would take place on Saturday. The talks are all set to break the stalemate that has been there for months. Remember, the talks between the two countries have been stalled ever since the second summit between Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un took place in Vietnam this February. The talks had ended without a deal.